Okay, so in this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to both create and animate a circular progress bar in Adobe XD. Hey guys, you're watching Danowski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. And in this tutorial, we're gonna jump into Adobe XD and I'm gonna show you how to both create and animate a circular progress bar all from scratch. So without further ado, let's jump to the screen and get started. Rightio, so we're now in Adobe XD. You can see I have two artboards sized for the iPhone 11, named one and two respectively. We also have a little bit of new morphism, soft UI there, lovely, lovely. And if you want to download the project files and follow along, there is a link in the video description. So first of all, I'm gonna select the ellipse tool, left click and hold shift to draw a circle. And I'm gonna set the width and height as 220 and then use the align tools up here to pop that in the center of the artboard and if I just zoom in I'll deselect the fill and pick a color for the border we'll go with like a ready pink something like this and we'll change the size to 20. Now you can see I've planned this out so it's perfectly in the middle yours may be slightly different or if you're following along with this tutorial you can use those same values. So next I'm gonna go over to the property inspector and set the gap of my border to a thousand and press return. And you can see it disappears. However, if we click in the dash box, what we can do is use the up and down arrow keys to add progress to our progress bar. Now, if this is too slow, you can also hold down shift on the keyboard and then use the up and down arrow keys to add progress a little bit quicker, or you can just enter a specific value. Now you can start off quite small, so you could start with 30, but the lower the value here, the more steps it's gonna be in your progress bar, and it's just gonna take a little longer with the next section when we come to duplicating everything. So for the sake of time, I'm gonna set this to 60 for the dash. And I'm also gonna round off these corners over here. There we go, lovely. Next, what I'm gonna do is make this small segment a component. So if I just right click on this, and go make component. I'm just gonna go over to the components panel down here, double click the text and we'll call this segment. Jump back to my layers. And what I can do now is I can duplicate this. Now you can press command or control D on the keyboard and it will duplicate this. And then what we can do is go over to the rotation box in the property inspector, hold shift and press the up arrow key. Now you want to press this as many times as you can get away with before it does this. Now we have a bit of a break in our progress bar. It's not smooth. It kind of looks like a string of sausages. So we got away with 30 degrees or three up key presses there. So we'll just remember that. Jump back to our layers panel, duplicate again, go back to the rotation, hold shift, one, two, three, duplicate. Hold shift, one, two, three. So I'm just selecting the topmost layer in the layer panel, pressing command or control D to duplicate. That's the shortcut key. Jumping back to the rotation box, holding shift and pressing the up arrow key, one, two, three times. And depending on the dash value that you set down here, you may get away with more or less, but if you're following along with this tutorial, three up arrow key presses seems to be what we get away with. So there we go, we're just gonna duplicate this again. Duplicate, rotate, duplicate, rotate. I'm doing this as fast as I can with a trackpad. And you don't have to go to 100%, but I'm gonna for this tutorial so you can see. And you can always go to 100% and then delete segments if you'd like to. Okay, so there we go, 100%, fantastic. Let's just zoom out. And what we could do now is hold shift, select all of these layers, go to edit, copy, jump over to the second artboard and then go edit and paste. There we go, fantastic. Now, if we jump back to the first artboard, we just need to select all of these segments again and then change that rotation to zero. Press return. And if we jump over into prototype mode, we can now click on the first artboard you can have anything as a trigger, but I'm just gonna use the artboards. We'll drag this to the second one. And on tap or click, we're going to do an auto animate. 
the easing is going to be ease in out. I found that's quite a good one, but you can experiment. And the duration is going to be one second. So our progress bar will go from here to being fully complete over the course of one second. And if I select the second artboard, drag this back, it remembers those same settings. So we can just go backwards and forwards between these really, really easily. Okay, so let's go up here to play. And there you go, we can see our progress bar plays out. Now what I'm gonna do is just remove a few segments, knock off a few off the top. And you can even add more artboards and have different percentages of progress and click between them if you want. But because we made this a master component, we can also just click on any instance of our segment component, right click and go to edit master component. And that becomes selected. We know it's the master component because it has this green diamond in the corner that is filled in. And we can go and change things like color. You could go and change the size if you like. And because it's the master component, it updates across every single instance. So I could change this to purple and I don't have to manually go through every segment on every artboard and change everything. I could just edit that master and then everything updates all in one go. And there we go, we can play this and we have our animation. And there we go. So that is how to both create and animate a circular progress bar in XD. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do have any questions or comments, you know what to do, drop those down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.